Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer, you know who it is, from Sacred Six Studios, I'm doing another update on what's in my bag. Now, let me just point out certain things first before we get to this video and you can watch what I have here and just talk about the first bag I had when I did the video. It was a knockoff bag, it was supposed to be a brand called YAGGLE Oxford's Waterproof ultra quality backpack for $80 and let me just get to the chase the shoulder strap broke off the threads were really cheap the structure and rigidity of the bag was really poor designed the pattern in the bag was so cheap it was like toilet tissue was stuffed between the layers of the fiber they have stitched together it was like toilet tissue quality this is not toilet tissue quality. This is high quality foam. And if you guys are wondering what backpack that I have now, it's the Low Pro Vertex 300 AW. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not endorsed. So, whatever I say, it's only my opinion as a photographer that travels a lot. So, I recommend this bag. So, you can tell about the quality and I got the other pads there. I fetched all of this stuff into this bag. Now the next question might be something you may ask. Is this certified for a carry-on? Yes it is. It is certified for a carry-on. Now keep in mind that other airlines like United have a bogus and kind of misleading size, width and length requirement. They are pretty much under average when it comes down to the size and length of your carry-on. You know why? I have a Pelican 1510 that is certified by TSA as a carry-on and they refuse for me to have that carry-on to the plane. Even though it's TSA approved and they rejected that I can't bring it on the plane. That was pretty much the upset or downside by United Airlines. So I flew from New York to Osaka, then Osaka to Chicago, then I had to take United from, was it, San Francisco to Chicago, Chicago to Madison. Now here's the trick coming into Madison from Chicago. A smaller plane would not accept this on the overhead because the smaller cargo overhead is actually smaller, not average large size as a big 747 or 727 or any large size plane. So here is the trick with this. If you find a smaller plane, you're going to have to check this in when you transfer to another plane. Label it or put a tag on it that says something like this. Special handling. Because they can break. Now, Here's the thing about this bag. This bag is a very expensive. It will cost you quite the, quite the money. That's only if you invest it in good gear. I have lenses, filters, and derailable filters, lenses, flashes, binoculars. I got pretty much vintage lenses flashes all over this place that I'm staying at here in Madison, Wisconsin. So do I recommend this bag to you? It depends. If you're an average photographer, no. But if you're an independent travel photographer that's always on the go, that wants to carry some lenses and two bodies, yes. Tripods, yes. I can fit three tri tripods. The reason why I'm saying that is let me move this out the way. So you can understand what I'm saying. Now there's a tripod mount on the hold here. There's an official tripod, tripod mount here. There's a tripod mount over here. And there's one on top as well. So therefore you can fit up to four tripods on this carry-on. And yes, the backpack is very, very, very strong and rigid. 
The quality is so premium, it's worth almost $400. So here is the thing. It comes with a rain cover. So it does take some water uh, repellent. So when it does rain, it does not get as wet, but there is a rain cover for this backpack. So it's up to you to decide if this is right for you, if it's not right for you. Like I said, I'm not endorsed by Low Pro at all, but I wouldn't mind if Low Pro would send me something, a smaller backpack for something more convenient when I'm in the city and I don't want to take this backpack along because I have that. And this Pelican case was, as I said earlier, was not to get on United. And that is the disappointing part. When this is TSA approved as a carry-on, and their height requirement was below this this line here, I found that a little bit disturbing. So if you're flying United, be fair warned that you will not be able to carry a Pelican certified TSA approved case. This is the the 1510, by the way. So. That's all pretty much I have to say for the moment, but I do want to show you this model part that I have here. And it's pretty nicely with a feed. And I got it for $75 from, from this company here. I'm not endorsed by them either, but I'm, what's it? Kula La Bola? Uh, I don't know. My English is kind of still rough in the edges. But other than that, this is a really good. I got the flash mount here to put a flash and a diffuse uh, softbox on it a very large softbox by the way but the feet are so cool so you can adjust and lock it based on what how you want to sit it flat or up or down and it's adjustable so it's pretty awesome but other than that I'm gonna try to put everything and redesign this bag the way I think I want it and I'll let you guys know how it looks after it okay Hello everyone once again, so I have everything in this bag right now Well 95% I don't have my laptop in there and I don't have The mouse or the hard drives in there quite yet, but as you can see if I give you a 360 virtual tour That it is fully packed and ready to go so you can see one model tripod there And you can see the other one there the model parts on the side and the van photo is in the front so i just want to show you the virtues of what this bag really looks like so the back here is where the foam or the the soft pattern for the back support really really is very comfortable and it's nice and soft but rigid and strong that's more important then on the bottom here, there's a rain cover and the cover itself for the back of this bag when you need to do this and lock it. That's why these zippers are here. So you can see that the zippers are meant to cover the lap, the whole entire bag entirely. So like that, when you first get it, you'll understand it. So they're on the bottom here, so don't worry about it. Other than that, <clears throat> You can see that I have my selfie stick and I'm going to put this down here and the tripod is on the mount. So what I want to actually show you guys is that this backpack for your camera system has a lock mechanism for the strap so it doesn't pull or go anywhere. So you loosen up to unlock it lock it to lock it so it's very important that you know this and that i show you this so i'm going to take the model the tripod out and this is very useful for the tripod so it's very handy and very strong so it's now let me demonstrate that this has four different slots for sd cards or x AC cards or whatever cards that you use for your cameras. So it's, and I got my panda chopstick, business cards here. 
Vintage adapter to mount on my Vintage lenses onto my body. And then on this side, just some markers, some empty zippers with cables and an input manometer for my A77 Mark II. And European adapter when I'm back in Europe. Always need it. And then zipper this back up. Now this is where my laptop will go in this area and it's really spacious but I also have a solar panel by Anchor. Now they said 15 watts but it's not really it's more like 11.2 watts so it does the job for a little while you have to put it in direct sunlight but other than that let's get started and open the sides down these zippers are so tough to open but that's what i like about it that it's made with quality now let me start off on this side first before we get to the the grand finale so as you can see here i have batteries uh sauce box lens cleaner tissue paper so rubbing garments just to mount on some stuff just in case some velcro that's pretty much it and here it I have where I store the 20,100 minute amp power battery from lab powered this charges all my devices even my ASMR for a whole entire day and plus more can charge it probably up to two days three days I have not tested it but there's some iPhone cable USB cables there there are some other uh, dislaining cables there. There's nothing in here really, but other than soft boxes, small ones. Now, just get to the fun part. Yes, I actually designed it where I can have everything and order the way I like it. Now, that is a lot of gear. I know, very lot to get. And I still have more stuff in the Pelican case over there, so. Here we are, A77 Mark II, A7R, the Rokinon 50 F1.4 lens. I have one, two, and three Minota Vintage lenses. I have the Zami Zami filters. I have 72, 77s, 172, and 162. And these are probably my favorite in the variable HD German Scott glass filters recommend buying them not in not sponsored by them I'm not endorsed I'm just saying that this is what I use so and as you can see here the a7r is here with the uh, 90 mil f2.8 micro G OSS lens and then over here I have the the row grid filtered system to it HDMI cables I have other miscellaneous things here like the 3.0 fast charger the dock system here which is by anchored by the way not sponsored by them either I got the road link system wireless road link wireless filmmakers kit set system here with everything in this little pouchy bag here put that in order the Godax receivers as you can see the ring flash the Yangu Mark 4 560 wireless uh, transmitter and receiver for Sony yes that's right for Sony so I got one for Sony so but I haven't used it yet so I might not even use it at all over here I have a diffuser with some with some cloths extra batteries and batteries for both cameras actually and I have the Sony A7R adapter charger for charging the batteries but I use another thing I use something else to charge my my batteries which in a faster pace I have this to charge my batteries and one hour time 
or less than 90 minutes. That takes quite some time to charge the batteries inside the camera. I don't recommend it. Anyway, also got the A7 7 Mark II batteries, the Godox flashes here, one, two, three, the, the LCD field monitor with the RAV power, 13 milliamp hour battery. So it's, that's put there, and that's pretty much it for that. So pretty long video, very long uh, process in setting this up right, so I can have a good fit. And I also have this I want to show you guys. This is a chest piece to carry my cameras. So it's very, very helpful. I feel like a policeman once again, or not once again, but I feel like a policeman or in the service. This is crazy, but it's really helpful. It alleviates a lot of stress and strain on your shoulders using those shoulder straps. And I've been having some back issues with using those shoulder straps that uh, the aftermarket ones, but I definitely recommend this one so far. I may change my mind over due of time, but it's still brand new. But other than that, this is KK Alexander, the Panda Photographer, showing you guys the low pro Rotec 300AW Traveler's Backpack. And yes, as I said in the first part of this, this is travelable as a carry-on. So you can see the dimensions is a carry-on. So, and with the tripod, it's still a carry-on because that's a person, the personal item. So you don't have to worry about that. Other than that, thank you for watching and hopefully guys, I will see you guys in the next video and take care. If you have any questions about this backpack, let me know. If I miss anything, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Let me know it. But other than that, take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.